Hello there and greetings from the spherical earth. Now, as you may well know if you've watched any of my videos or read any of my comments, you'll understand that I'm fairly in favour of the idea of the spherical earth. And I'm rather sceptical of the claims that the earth is flat. Now, one of the arguments that's often put forward by flat earth proponents is that there are no real images taken from space. Well, I'm not an expert on CGI, I'm not an expert on space, but most of the flat earthers I speak to aren't either. So what I thought I would do is actually look through some images from space and talk about how authentic they look and whether they are actually real images from space or not. Now I gathered some from online, so the first one I will look at is actually an image taken of the Earth. Um, here it is here. Now I must say on first sight I think that looks pretty real. I think that looks like it's a real image of the Earth taken from space. Um, I know these CGI guys are pretty clever. I know that they can do some amazing things. However, you know, it looks pretty authentic to me. You can see here that we've got, um, I think that's Antarctic up there, isn't it? And this is, um, I think that's, that's Europe, isn't it? And that's Australia. And down here, um, I think that's, I think that's Madagascar, and I think this, this here is um, Canada, I think it must be. And you can see you've got the moon going round the earth here and a few stars. You've got the sun and some nice clouds around the earth. So no, I don't, I don't see any particular reason for thinking this isn't a genuine image taken from space. Uh, however, let's look at the next one. Um, ah, now, here we've got an image of a satellite beaming. And you, can, you can actually see the radio waves beaming down onto the Earth and a couple of ships down here that are obviously using the satellite to navigate their way around. Um, I'm not sure what this is. I think this is a whale or something down here. Again, you've got Antarctica there. And um, this is this is probably India here, and this will be um, this will be Peru, I think, down this bit here. And you've got the sun up there, and you've got a rocket zooming through space with its fire coming out the back, like you do with rockets. And you can see all the stars out. It's a lovely night. And um, again, I don't see the problem. I don't know what they think isn't real about this. I really don't. Let's look at another one. Now, again, this looks very realistic to me. I mean, if this is if this has been composited or CGI, then hats off to them. Really, honestly, hats off to them. These guys are good. I mean, you've got... I mean, this has been taken on the surface of another world. I'm not exactly sure where this is. You can see you've got the rocket landing on the surface. And the astronauts here are... Um, they're doing some kind of research. They're gathering information here. I'm not sure what they're doing. It looks like they're having a good time. And they've brought their dog with them. And... And uh, there's another world in the background. I'm not sure what that is. But again, it looks pretty real. Let's have a look at another one. Ah, now this one, I think this one's ambiguous. I mean, you might be thinking that looks pretty real, but... I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what my problem with this one is. If you look there, you've got the rocket. That's fine. You've got the stars, no problem. You've got a window there, there's no one in it. There's nobody in that window. And that is setting off alarm bells for me. So maybe the flat earthers have got a point, you know, maybe they do have a point. Maybe some of these images have been faked. 
Maybe they have been fed. This one's, I'll, I'll leave the jury out on that one. This one here. Now this one's been taken near the sun. Um, again, you can see a little rocket there. Now you might be going, there's no one in that window either, but remember this is taken near the surface of the sun. He's not going to be going near the window. He'll be inside, um, he'll probably be inside a fridge or something, inside the rocket there. I think, yeah, you can see this is the earth down here. Um, this will be um, Neptune or something, I'm not sure. And these are stars. And you've even got a little UFO here that's been captured in this image. So, you know, proof of alien life in this one as well. This is pretty good. And it's clearly a genuine image of the surface of the sun. I mean, I was a bit wary about showing this one because it's, it, it could be seen as evidence for the flat Earth because it, it clearly shows that the sun's not really that far away from the Earth. And you could be looking at a flat Earth there. So, you know, maybe I've, maybe I've played an own goal there for the flat. Maybe I've scored a goal for the flat earthers here, but, you know, I think it's a real image, though. Now, this one, well, it looks pretty authentic, but, you know, you know how I feel about the flat earth. I mean, I just don't, I just, a bit sceptical about it, so... You know, as real as this image looks, I think that I would have to say this one's faked, but then again, I would. And I thought I'd finish off one last image here. Um, it's, there we go, it's an image of the moon. Clearly, a genuine image of the moon. You can see that the moon is, a, is round, and he's saying, I'm the moon. So, I mean, these are very, these are real photographs. Let's go back to this. That is a photograph of the Earth taken from space. I mean, seriously. How stupid do these flat earthers really think that we are? 